I wanted to talk to all of you about my journey into the world of peace uh, activists, I guess you could call me, and uh, ho hopefully encourage all of you to join me. So about eight years ago, uh, like so many of us, I was really getting fed up with what was going on in my own country in the USA uh, with the school violence and just, just violence in general. And I, I was wondering, like, when are they going to do something? And we were all talking about it at a dinner party. Like, well, when are they going to, when are they going to act? Why, why does the same thing happen over and over again? And then I, I kind of had this light bulb moment where I thought, well, maybe it's not they, maybe it's we, and maybe each of us can take a role in figuring out how to arm our children with the, the knowledge and the skills that they need to make a more peaceful world going forward. So with that in mind, uh, I'm a lifelong creative person. I've worked in animation and publishing and done all kinds of creative things. So I thought, well, I'm going to try to connect them all through the arts somehow. And when I posted this idea on Facebook, uh, a friend of mine that was at the time the head of the uh, United Nations International Day of Peace wrote back, well, why don't you create a project for us? So I'm going to show you some slides and, uh, and you can see where it, where it all went. So with the encouragement of the International Day of Peace team at the UN, I started thinking about projects that could welcome every child in the world. Um, it wasn't an easy task because a lot of kids couldn't, uh, couldn't participate if it required a lot of equipment or, or anything too complicated. So with that in mind, I decided, well, at least everybody could get a piece of paper or we could, we could supply paper if need be. So I, I decided to invite every child in the world to fold an origami crane and write a message on its wings to another child somewhere in the world. And then they could trade those cranes through a website I would set up. Um, and for years, I, I actually connected everyone by hand. It's now automated, but that's how I started was inviting them to connect through cranes. And I launched the Peace Crane Project. So that very first year, and at the dinner party, in fact, that we were discussing what to do about violence, um, a friend of mine, Rubia Braun, was at the party, and she was on a trip around the world, and she uh, offered to make me a video to help me launch. So she made this One, video. One, two, three. Yay! Every year, people all around the world celebrate International Day of Peace.
much to my surprise, that very few first year, students from all over the world began to join us. Uh, at this point, we've had over 2 million kids uh, in 154 countries participating. And at some point, we made this little video to celebrate some of those students. Welcome to the Peace Ukraine Project. So soon after starting the Peace Crane Project, teachers started mentioning to me Sarako Sazaki and her quest to fold a thousand cranes. I had never heard of Sarako. Took me on a, a global adventure, attempting to meet her brother who was still alive, was also a victim of the bombing. And he and I met uh, finally a few years ago and decided to write a book together. So I hope that each of you will, will seek it out at some point. It, it is written for ages 10 and up. It's a difficult story, but a perfect introduction to World War II and uh, a reminder of how war not only impacts uh, countries, but it impacts people and innocent people and that there are really no winners in war um, and, and that, that we, we all lose something once the war begins. So as of now, over 2 million children have participated in 154 countries. Uh, it's really remarkable to me, it's still shocking that this happened, uh, but, but they've learned uh, geography, they've connected with one another. So they've learned about each other's cultures, they've practiced their handwriting, they've heard other languages, they've learned to make videos of themselves, they can read a map. Uh, the teachers have also connected, and so I've, I've discovered that many of them have many uh, running long years of, of friendship and participation with their classes change, but the teachers, they, they keep their connections. So they've started new projects without me uh, based on their friendships that have developed through the Peace Crane Project. And the kids, I think most importantly, while I had sort of dreamed of them connecting and getting all these other benefits from from the project, the one thing I hear over and over from the kids is that they feel very empowered. And I think that the, the next generation, we really do need to empower them. We don't need to teach them what to think. We need to teach them how to think, and we need to arm them with the knowledge of how the world works and how we're all the same, really, uh, despite our differences. So uh, I hope that you all will take this as an inspiration to come up with your own idea. It's really, uh, within your reach, I'm certain of it. And I hope you'll also uh, think about signing up your students and have them join us at peacecreamproject.org. Thanks, thanks so much.